Okay, um, I wanted to talk a little bit about the cold proof system uh, I'm using. Um, because of the odd shape of the building, it took quite a lot of working out how to get the correct slope um, from the front to the uh, back. Um, we have around here the back where the guttering is going and that's where the uh, slope ends up. <clears throat> so the cold roof system, I've got um, 170 mil uh, joists uh, because my longest run is like uh, 5.6 meters right the way across. But as you can see, because of the odd shape of the building, the the joists get shorter and shorter as they go on. So I've only got two that are 5.6 meters, um, of which I've doubled up on those joists to give it a bit of extra strength. Um, and then it, it tapers down. So I've got 170 mil, <coughs> 170 mil joists. And then I'm using furrings, which are going from uh, just over 90 mil down to, down to zero at the back. Um, and how I worked that out to have the same fall on all of the joists because they're all different lengths is to basically have all of the joists work them out to be six meters long in the first instance with furrings going from 90 to zero on top of those. And then uh, once they were all on, um, I just trimmed off the front uh, to get the um, to get the right length. So that means that, for example, this first joist fairings, uh, you can see it up there, will probably be going from I don't know 50 50 mil <coughs> down to zero. And then as we go on, this joist here is probably going from like 70 mil down to zero until we get right up the end here on the longest joists. Um, and they're going from like 90, 90 mil um, right the way down to, down to zero. <clears throat> okay, so it's a cold brew system. Um, I'm going for 100 mil PIR insulation which I've got a sheet here, um, spare sheet left over from my flooring. Um, so they'll go up to about uh, where my first fixed wiring holes are, just underneath that hole is about 100 mil, which will leave a good, a good 70 mil um, ventilation gap running all the way along the top of the, of the roof above the PIR insulation. And then I've got, um, <clears throat> in the soffits, I've got a vented soffit. I don't know if you can see it very well there. Let me uh, show you around the back. I've got like vented soffits there. Yeah, you can see there all the way along at the back. Um, and the vent continues all the way along here. <clears throat> all the way round because the shape of the roof vent carries on all the way here and then all the way along the front here as well so that gives a good ventilation on the top side of the roof um, all the way all the way round um, I've just done the first fixed wiring so um, they'll sit above the PIR insulation. They shouldn't prevent any ventilation flow. They should all be, they should all be good. So that's my um, cold roof design. Um, it's a very sturdy roof. I've been up there obviously to put the rubber roof on and fit all the <coughs> soffits and fascias and so on. And it's very, very sturdy. Um, yeah, so next job, I've just done the first fixed wiring. Uh, next job is uh, I'm gonna batten the outside and put the uh, cladding on the back and the sides. Um, and then I can get on with the PIR insulation on the, on the inside. 
Okay. Thanks very much. Please click like and subscribe and uh, I'll keep you updated on my videos. Thanks very much.